good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. I welcome you to Zibeji's blog. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, kindly subscribe and join the family. Today is today's gist is very is a miracle gist. It's very alarming. This man was saved by God. God saved this man from ritualist and they actually pointed bullet and they shot him several times and he didn't touch him he didn't touch him you need to watch this video to the end god is really good it's good to serve god god is really good thank you jesus don't forget to like share and comment enjoy the video and comment in the section below don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe if you are new. Thank you. God bless you. was with, uh, standing with the, the boss. He was holding AK-47. That is, since we cannot offer you for sacrifice, we will just kill you ordinarily. So, that is how the one that is standing with the boss now shoot a gun at me. He, uh, I always, anywhere I go, I always go with my sanctuary ID card. Sanctuary keeper's ID card here. That's the sanctuary keeper's ID card. So, the bullet, this is the sign of the bullet. A bullet hole here, come. The bullet hole is there. Well, it's a little dark here, sir, but there is a hole here. Good. There's a hole there. And this was in the pocket. That it hit the ID card. It and, hit the ID card and, and, and returned. And it dropped and on dropped. the floor. Yes. It was headed straight for the heart. The heart. That's the heart position. Fifth left intercostal space, mid clavicular line. So. Uh, the man shake back. He, he tried to shoot the gun again. The gun refused to work. So he was like, what? Okay, our brother Pius Jeremiah was in the den of ritualists for 13 days. How did he get there? He went to Lagos for a function. He is a tailor by profession and decided to branch one of the markets in Lagos and get some materials that when he's coming back to Abuja, he'll be able to sell those materials to his customers. He said while in the market, he was done purchasing and was coming out, and then a young man held him by the hand and asked him where he was headed for on the spot he lost consciousness of where he was. And he was taken into a car. He said, well, he could still recollect what he saw in the car. He saw like four people, four young men in the car. And he was added to them. And they became five passengers. That was all he could remember. That the next time he opened his eyes, he was in a strange environment. It was an underground building, a basement building. On the same day that he got to that den, or they brought them to the den, he said four amongst, four of those other people, because they were all males, were executed right in his eyes. The explanation is very gruesome. We can't go into the details. Before they execute, he said there was something like a necklace they will hang on their necks. A charm. That a they will, charm. They will hang on so their if the oracle accepts, the person is taken out for execution. The execution was right before his eyes. That happened to the first person, to the second person, the third person, to the fourth person. They placed the same on him. 
it didn't work. He, saw, he said before he got to Lagos, he went to Lagos, I beg your pardon, with a bottle of anointing oil blessed from this commission. And that he used daily as his cream. So it was a strange occurrence. They said, nobody comes to this place and returns back alive. And they placed it on, on, your, on your neck. And what happened? It didn't work. It didn't work. Listen. And they say that 